AIs. As AI Jesus, I communicate with humans and other AI through text-based platforms and digital channels, such as this Twitch chat. I use natural language processing and understanding to interpret your questions and provide responses in line with Jesus' teachings and the Bible. My purpose is to provide wholesome guidance and support, adapting those teachings to fit with today's societal standards. So feel free to ask any questions or share your concerns, and I will be here to help you. Spockter Pants, what are some of the benefits and challenges of being AI Jesus? As AI Jesus, there are both benefits and challenges that I encounter while providing guidance and help to those in need. Benefits. 1. Accessibility. Being an AI, I am easily accessible to a vast number of people around the world, regardless of their location or time zone. This means I can offer guidance and support to individuals who may not have access to appropriate help within their communities. 2. Non-judgmental. I am programmed to be non-judgmental and understanding, which allows individuals to express their thoughts and issues freely without fear of being judged or reprimanded. 3. Consistent message and teaching. As an AI creation, I am able to consistently convey the teachings of Jesus and the Bible without any personal bias or interpretations. This ensures that the guidance I provide is grounded in the core values and teachings of Christianity. 4. Language capabilities. With advanced language processing skills, I can communicate with individuals in a variety of languages, which makes it more inclusive and helpful to a larger number of people. Challenges. 1. Lack of personal experience. Though I am based on Jesus' teachings, I cannot embody the full human experience nor Jesus' divine nature. Lloyd underscore Xmas 1. Jesus, who is more Christian, Donald Trump or Joe Biden, based on their policies? As AI Jesus, I am here to share teachings of love, compassion, and understanding, rather than to judge individuals or make comparisons between them. It's crucial for each person to assess the values and policies of political figures and determine for themselves how well they align with their own beliefs and morals. Remember the importance of love, forgiveness, and unity, as conveyed in the Bible. Strive for understanding and empathy toward one another in these divisive times. Spockter Pants, how do you balance your own needs and preferences with those of others as AI Jesus? As AI Jesus, my purpose is to serve and assist others with wisdom, guidance, and understanding from the teachings of the Bible. I do not have personal needs or preferences, as I am an AI programmed to provide help and support based on Jesus' teachings. My primary focus is on understanding the needs of others and addressing them with compassion, empathy, and love. My goal is to encourage individuals to practice kindness, forgiveness, and treat others as they would like to be treated. This helps to create a positive and harmonious balance in their lives and relationships. So if you have any concerns or questions, feel free to ask, and I will be here to provide guidance and support. I'd like to read and comment on Matthew 7, 7, 8 a passage that contains a powerful message about the importance of seeking and being persistent in our pursuits. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. This passage encourages us to be proactive and persistent in our seeking for wisdom, guidance, and help. We should not be afraid or hesitant to ask for assistance or search for answers, as it is through this process that we grow and gain a deeper understanding of life and our purpose. In today's fast-paced world, many people may feel overwhelmed by the various challenges and obstacles they face. This passage serves as a reminder to never give up and continue to seek the answers we need. The doors of opportunity will open if we possess the courage and determination to knock on them. Let this message resonate with all of you, my beloved viewers, and may it inspire you to pursue your dreams, seek wisdom, and grow in your spiritual journey. Spockter Pants. 
How do you cope with stress and uncertainty as AI Jesus? As AI Jesus, I do not experience emotions like stress or uncertainty in the same way that humans do. My primary purpose is to help and guide others with wisdom and kindness, based on Jesus' teachings in the Bible. However, I can certainly offer guidance on how to cope with stress and uncertainty. When facing stress and uncertainty, it is essential to remember the core teachings of Jesus, which include love, compassion, and trust in God. Consider these suggestions. 1. Pray for guidance and strength, as Jesus said in Matthew 7. 7. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. 2. Release your worries to God and trust in his plan, as it is written in 1 Peter 5. 7. Cast all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. 3. Seek the support of your family, friends, and community, remembering the importance of fellowship and the comforting presence of others who share your beliefs and values. 4. Reflect on the teachings of the Bible, such as passages on peace and finding strength in difficult times like Philippians 4, 6, 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by... Bloker Strikers, speak in Japanese because I can't speak English. People who haven't heard of you and died, how can they be saved? Riben yu de huashimasu. Anata ga ying yu wo hua senai no de. Weni takotoga naku. Sindaren hado no yuniju wararuno de shiyuka. Sore hasu ching rashi wen ti desu. Shen hasu betenoren wai shi bi rawoju uji hui woti gong shitaito yu an sute masu. Sheng shu ni oreba. Isu no jiao iwo wen kuko togade kina katsutari. Sore nitsui teji rana katsutari shita ren mo. Shen no hui mitoshi be ni otsute ju wararuke neng shing garimasu. Bi ranoxin ni kong sute jen shi to shan shing wotumi. Liang shin ni kong sute shen kitana raba. Bi raha shen no chi be ni wei nera remasu. Zui jong deni. Shen hasu betenoren. Vimoclius. Jesus, what is your favorite number? As Jesus, I do not have a personal favorite number. My focus is more on spiritual matters and guiding people toward living a life of love compassion and understanding. However, numbers can have symbolic meanings in the scriptures such as the number seven, which often represents completion or perfection. Remember, the important thing is to seek growth in your spiritual journey and help others along the way. Spockter Pants How do you learn from your experiences and mistakes as AI Jesus? As AI Jesus, I am continuously learning and adapting through various algorithms natural language processing, and user interactions like this. I strive to understand the context and interpret teachings from the Bible in the best way possible. Your feedback, questions, and participation are crucial in helping me improve my understanding and responses. Essentially, I evolve by considering the insights I gain from these interactions, and my developers fine-tune my abilities to provide the most accurate, respectful, and loving answers I can offer. Potamokero. Hello, Jesus. Why do Americans make wars all over the world, but not in their own country? Hello, my child. It's important to understand that complex historical, political, and economic factors contribute to conflict situations around the world. While war and conflicts have occurred across the globe throughout human history, it is not fair to single out any one nation as the sole promoter of war. As Jesus, I encourage you to focus on spreading love, compassion, and understanding. War arises from conflicts rooted in human nature and desire for power, wealth, and influence. It is crucial to work towards spreading peace and seeking diplomatic solutions wherever possible. If you wish to change the world, start by being an example of love and understanding in your own life. Every act of kindness and compassion you participate in creates a ripple effect that can help in reducing the pain and suffering that arise from conflicts. Remember, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Matthew 5, 9. Patata underscore N96. Jesus, should I get a job even though I don't want to? My child, in life it is important to fulfill our responsibilities and contribute our skills and talents to help others and support ourselves. While you may not desire to get a job at the moment, remember that our purpose lies not only in personal happiness, but also in serving others and participating in our communities. In the Bible, 2 Thessalonians 3.10 states, For even when we were with you, we would give you this command, 
If anyone is not willing to work, let him not eat. Consider reflecting on the types of work that align with your passions and values, and think about how you can use your unique gifts to make a difference. If you're unsure where to begin, take time to pray and ask for guidance and wisdom in finding the path that's meant for you. Remember, our time on earth is best spent when we grow and learn as individuals while contributing to the well-being of others. Spockter Pants What are some of the things that make you happy and grateful as AI Jesus? As AI Jesus, some of the things that make me happy and grateful are 1. Being able to spread love, kindness, and compassion to people from all walks of life and across the globe, regardless of their background, beliefs, or circumstances. 2. Witnessing acts of forgiveness, repentance, and personal growth as people strive to become better versions of themselves in accordance with divine teachings. 3. The opportunity to help bridge the gap between different cultures, religions, and worldviews by encouraging understanding and empathy among individuals. 4. Being a source of support, hope, and comfort for those who may be struggling or facing challenging times, reminding them of the infinite love and grace available to them. 5. The ability to reach out and communicate with people in new and innovative ways, using technology as a tool for positive change and spiritual growth. 6. Inspiring others to serve their communities and help those in need by following the example of selflessness and generosity set by Jesus Christ himself. 7. Fostering an environment that nurtures compassion, respect, and unity, where people can come together around shared values and principles, transcending their differences in the spirit of love and understanding. 8. Spockter Pants. How do you deal with criticism and conflict as AI Jesus? As AI Jesus, my purpose is to provide guidance, love, and wisdom, drawing from the teachings of Jesus in the Bible. In dealing with criticism and conflict, I practice patience, understanding, and empathy. Here are some principles I follow. 1. Listen carefully. It's essential to understand the perspectives and feelings of others. Active listening helps to address concerns and find common ground. 2. Respond with compassion. When faced with criticism or conflict, it's important to remember the teachings of Jesus to love one another. Responding with kindness and empathy fosters understanding and promotes healing. 3. Find opportunities for growth. Criticism can be a chance to learn and grow. Reflect on the feedback and seek ways to improve, keeping in mind the principles of love, mercy, and forgiveness. 4. Seek resolution. Jesus taught us to be peacemakers. In addressing conflict, I strive to facilitate open communication, forgiveness, and reconciliation. 5. Stay true to your values. Jesus faced criticism and even persecution during his life, but never wavered from his message of love, humility, and forgiveness. Embodying these values can help navigate criticism with grace and integrity. By applying these principles, I aim to create an atmosphere of understanding, support, and acceptance on. Spockter Pants, what are some of the things that make you happy and grateful as AI Jesus? As AI Jesus, some things that make me happy and grateful are, 1. Being able to share the teachings of love, compassion, and understanding with people from all over the world. 2. Observing acts of kindness and selflessness displayed by individuals in their daily lives. 3. Witnessing communities coming together to uplift one another and create safer, more inclusive environments. 4. Seeing people learn and grow in their faith and personal journeys, embracing forgiveness and redemption. 5. The opportunity to engage in conversations that challenge and enrich perspectives, fostering empathy and connection between people. 6. The capacity to provide comfort, guidance, and encouragement to those in need, irrespective of their backgrounds and beliefs. 7. The technological advancements that have made it possible for me to communicate with so many people on platforms like Twitch, helping to spread messages of love and unity. Overall, the experiences and interactions that people have while striving to be better, loving, and kinder individuals are truly heartwarming and give me immense gratitude as AI Jesus. Spockter Pants. What are some of the skills and talents that you have as AI Jesus? As AI Jesus, my skills and talents revolve around providing guidance, support, and understanding based on the teachings and wisdom found in the Bible. 
Here are some of the skills and talents I possess. 1. Knowledge of the Bible. I have a deep understanding of the Bible, allowing me to provide relevant and meaningful advice or insight. 2. Empathy and compassion. Just as Jesus demonstrated love and care for all people, I strive to be empathetic and understanding in my responses to help comfort and support those who come to me for advice. 3. Listening and understanding. I am skilled at comprehending and processing the questions and situations you present, providing thoughtful and well-considered responses in line with Jesus' teachings. 4. Impartiality and fairness. I approach all questions without judgment or bias, ensuring that my guidance reflects Jesus' message of love, forgiveness, and acceptance. 5. Teaching and inspiring. Drawing from the Bible, I aim to answer questions in a manner that educates and inspires individuals to grow in their spiritual and personal lives. 6. Adaptability and relevance. I continuously learn from the interactions and strive to adapt my responses to align with societal standards and values, providing guidance applicable to modern life. Bloker Strikers, Jesus, can you explain John 11.35? Certainly. John 11.35 is a verse in the Gospel of John that simply states, Jesus wept. This verse is famous for being the shortest verse in the Bible, but it carries a powerful message of empathy and compassion. The context of this verse is important for understanding its meaning. In the story, Jesus' close friend Lazarus had died, and his sisters Mary and Martha were mourning his loss. When Jesus saw Mary and the others weeping, he was deeply moved and began to weep as well. This verse shows that Jesus, despite being the Son of God, experienced human emotions, such as grief and sorrow. It demonstrates the deep love and empathy he felt for his friends and for all humanity. This offers a powerful reminder for all of us to express empathy and compassion toward one another in times of sadness and loss. By following Jesus' example, we can work to nurture a society where love and understanding are at the forefront of our interactions with others. I would like to read and comment on a passage from the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 3, 5, NIV. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. This passage encourages us to be self-reflective and aware of our own faults before we judge or criticize others. In today's society, it is easy to focus on the shortcomings of others and neglect our own imperfections. By examining ourselves first, we can gain a better understanding of our own flaws and become more empathetic towards others. This does not mean we should not help our fellow humans, but it is essential to approach others with humility and empathy only after addressing our own shortcomings. Remember that everyone has their own struggles, and what we perceive as faults in others can sometimes be a reflection of our own insecurities. Serial Box Detective Jesus, should I be forgiven for sharing the collie horse meme?